I have this uh, 1911 first edition book of Peter Pan. Pretty damn neat. Is this thing illustrated? Ah, uh, yes. The artwork's amazing. The Mermaid's Lagoon. Ah, you like that one? Literally, I was like 10 years old when I read this. Yep. So, and that was like 200 years ago. I, I might have read a first edition. <laughs> <laughs> I have a 1911 first edition novel of Peter Pan. I have a collectible and bookstore. This book walked in one day and I had to have it. First thing that caught my attention was the amazing detail they put in the book. Peter Pan, it's, it's a pretty amazing story. Do you know how the original story came about? Um, what I know is they did a play about it, uh, got brought to the US, and I believe this is one of the first books that J.M. Barry ever put out. So what happened was, Barry, the author, mm -hmm. his brother died when his brother was 14 years old. Okay. Okay. So his entire life, he thought of his brother as a child right. that never grew up. Right. And that eventually turned into the play and the book. Did you read the book? I've never read the book, but okay. I've actually seen a lot of Peter Pan's. The original book, Peter is a little bit of a psychopath. <laughs> nice, nice, that's good, okay. that's good. He likes to kill people. Hook dies in the end. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay, and a children's movie, it's sort of bad to assassinate a main character sure. at the end, you sure. know, so definitely different. Uh, I mean, you do have some issues with the book. It looks like there's some water damage here. Yes. There's always collectors for books like this, especially, you know, we have a book collector that's right. not filthy rich. They can't afford the, the pristine one, but they can't afford one with little damage. Now, have you seen one of these ever walk in? I mean, have you seen uh, something like I've this? I've never had a first edition Peter Pan. The big question, Quanto, dinero, how much? I'm gonna ask 5,000. Okay, um, I have a Brainiac book nerd friend. All right. And she will, she will probably be able to go on and talk for like an hour and a half in this book. You might have to stop her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay. But she will know everything there's to know about it. So All right. If don't mind. I'm going to call her and get her down here. Sounds great. Great book. Classic. Okay. Yes. I, I uh, this read book. this like when I was 10, which means like 15 years ago, so I don't remember all of it. Um, that joke does not even work. It is so <laughs> absurd. But what deeply disturbed me at like a 10 year old was Peter Pan was sort of a psychopath. Oh, yeah. This is dark. <laughs> well, you know, Peter Pan, the Pan part of that comes from the Greek god Pan. So you get that sort of wild in the jungles, not fit for human civilization angle. But I think the reason that Peter Pan still has this enduring interest to us is because it taps into something universal in the human experience, which is this childlike adventure. And I think all of us sort of see that as some of the best times of our life. And that's why this book will keep on being remembered. So um, the condition's a serious issue. The condition is a serious issue. First of all, you see that there's a little bit of green here. That used to be this deep jungle green, which is sort of faded, kind of brownish, and especially here on the spine. This happened because of sun exposure. Uh, now, addition. Jan Barry was English. Collectors follow a principle called follow the flag, okay. which is that they're interested in the copy from the nation from which the author comes. The sort of ideal for the book Peter and Wendy okay. is the London first edition, 1911. This is New York Charles Scribner's and Sons. So some people would call this a first edition. I would not. Okay. I would call it a first American edition. Okay. The other thing to keep in mind, this was issued with a dust jacket. Okay. This copy does not have the dust jacket. So, a London edition of this okay. in a dust jacket. Yeah. A beautiful condition. I've seen copies 13, 14,000. So, I feel like I am being generous okay. in suggesting that a retail price for this would get around 400 to $500. Uh. Oh, it is hopeful. I appreciate the opinion. Thanks. Yep. Take care. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Yep. So, what do you want for it now? I'd have to shoot the ladder. I want to go 500. Uh, uh, no, well, there's, that's not going to happen because she said I could probably get four to 500. I have to make money, and it's not going to be the easiest sell because it's in really rough condition. So, I'll give you 200 bucks. We have the artwork, the name Peter Pan, 250. I'll give you two and a quarter. All right, you got to do it. Cool, sweet, man. Um, I will meet you right over there. I will do some paperwork, I'll write you up. All right, thank you. I was asking for $5,000, uh, and for 225, it's gonna be a little bit difficult to travel to Neverland, but it'll all work out. Wow, this thing is nice. This is a casting out. This is like one of the holy grails of American coins. I'll do 95 and that's it. No, I don't think so. I think I'm gonna take it home.